everyone. Today I'm here with Shane Redmond at the Rye Castle Museum and he's going to be telling us a bit about the history. Hello Shane, how are you? Hello, fine, thank you. Yes, uh, well of course uh, it's part of the defences of Rye built in 1247 by Henry III or with money provided by Henry III and it, uh, as I say, was accommodation for the garrison and it remained as part of the defences of Rye until the 1400s. At the end of that, um, it served as one or two other uh, purposes in the town, but eventually it became the town goal. Uh, and it remained as such uh, right up until 1890. And we used to get approximately 18 prisoners in the six cells, which was a bit crowded, until Elizabeth Fry, on the back of our five pound note, came along, uh, Prison Reform Act, 1835-37, we built the Woman's Tower and we moved the girls out. Uh, much better accommodation was in here in the uh, tower itself. It's uh, open right the way through the year and we get a, a very varied uh, cross-section of the population, not only people from the United Kingdom, but all over the world. Japanese, Chinese, New Zealanders, Australians, Americans, Canadians. They've all been through here at some time in this year, let alone last year. And what's your personal interest in this place as well? Does it have a special meaning for you? Um, well, I'm on the management committee of the association that runs it. It's purely a volunteer system here. Um, and uh, I'm just one of the volunteers that happen to look after the um, tower itself, this part of it. There is, of course, a museum in East Street but um, I'm, for my sins, lumbered with the tower. <laughs> so thank you so much for everything. Oh, thank it's you. a pleasure.